Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy Nick Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Well, this is the official coverage now. Official coverage, guys and gals, for realsies this time. Originally, the game was... I'm going to go real quick here, guys. Just give me like 30 seconds to a minute. I'll explain what's going on, why there's kind of a reboot of the whole series and all that. Uh, the game was originally slated to release on April 27th, and it got pushed until May 18th. So it's releasing on May 18th, so today... And the copy that they sent out to the press apparently had a timeout thing. The PR people didn't know or they forgot to tell me. Whatever. It's not a big deal. I didn't care. It was fine. I wanted to play. It's a bit unfortunate I couldn't. They got me another copy of the game once they had them. It's perfectly fine. So I'm able to start playing and everything's going to be good. It's going to be great. However, that means that my previous thing, I don't have a save here, guys. There's no save file. Uh, the six episodes that I already did. I can't use, so I re-tag those as a first look video or first look mini series, and it just stops at episode six, and we're gonna have to start from scratch. If you guys enjoyed the first attempt, if you guys watched the first look, you really enjoyed that, and you want to see it again, uh, go ahead and watch it. If you don't want to see it again, I'm saying like watch what I'm doing here for the first six episodes. If you don't really want to watch, just come check out the video, uh, leave a like, comment, do stuff, guys. Give me some. Uh, me some feedback and things that way I stay on the top of the searches it helps me a lot and again the only way you grow on YouTube is visibility so if I'm not visible I'm not growing so there you have it there you have it so yeah comments likes subscriptions all those things are great guys and gals anyway we're gonna hop in we're gonna play I'm sorry for the uh, kind of explanation of rambling here at the beginning I just feel bad because I know the first six episodes are roughly three hours of regalia of men and monarchs we're going to basically be replaying now there were some glitches and bugs and problems that we ran into and i'm hoping all those are fixed but it's going to be the kind of the same content so my apologies for that uh, originally it was planned to be a continuous let's play with no breaks so it is what it is let's move on guys let's move on our story begins in the rush till expanse where the wind races across empty plains it is a sad hostile land a wild frontier and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the great house Loren. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the Gem in the realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret. Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. His only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Lauren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, young Kay sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. The legend is about to be retold. I, I feel like... The until now part could have been like just slightly more delayed, but I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm grasping at straws here, guys and gals. All right, regalia of men and monarchs. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait. I, I like this game. Even if I have to replay the first three hours, totally cool with that. It's a really, 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 really good game. Can't tell that I'm excited or fired up, can you? Hmm. Just not conveying that I know. All right, cutscenes tutorial. Hello, my name is Gwendolyn Lauren, and I guess I'll have to be your guide here. Do me a favor and at least try to read these pop-ups. Perhaps you'll learn something. You can navigate through the dialogue by clicking on the left mouse button. You can skip cutscenes instantaneously by pressing the spacebar. If you do so, you'll be given a brief summary of what happened afterwards. Cutscenes that require you to make a choice cannot be skipped in this way. Got it. And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. Yeah! Destiny! Also, there's not going to be much gameplay at the beginning. Just so you know. Um, is it A? Oh, it doesn't let me do that. Alright. There's a thing later you get to hit A and it will auto-play all the, the dialogue and stuff, so it's going to be good. 
But yeah, the first episode's gonna For almost great justice! be completely just storyline. So just be aware of that, folks. Just be aware of that. For great justice, says Griffith. Wait, but that's not our hero. This is our hero. That's our hero right there. It's our boy. I can't feel my legs. Mm. Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. Right. This place is a mess. Not quite what I was expecting. Of that there's no doubt, friend. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. Well... Yay. What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. Huh. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis. Isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book on an adventure or something. Indeed. <sighs> well... I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. Oh, this game's so good, guys. Oh. Uh, salvage? Onwards, minions. Mm. To the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Minions? Minions? Onward, minions, to the castle. To the castle, indeed. To the castle, indeed. All right, more tutorial. Free roaming overview. In free roaming scenes like this one, you have a direct control over K. Press the left mouse button anywhere on the screen to walk. Press twice to run instead. Press the left mouse button on a character to approach them and start a conversation. You can exit all free roaming scenes by clicking on the door icon. To pan the camera, hold the middle mouse button and drag your mouse. I have marked all the exits in this scene with a large golden arrow. Think you can handle it? Don't get lost now. In Regalia, you can only save your game in fixed spots. Your town is one of those. You can save your game progress from the settings menu, clicking on the gear up there in the upper right corner of the screen, or pressing escape will enable you to access the appropriate option. There are other places where you can save your game, but we'll explain those later. For now, try to exit your current screen. Alright. So there's not much to do here. There's a bunch of different exits we can walk around, but in reality, all we really got to do is go talk to Elaine. Gwen may complain, but she was very keen on coming here too, right? <laughs> It'll be okay, trust me. Good things are rarely easy. And we are out of here. Hopefully I can do this a little bit quicker than the last time I attempted it. To Castle Lauren and beyond. All right, we're gonna left click here. Not much of an improvement. Did they get they got rid of the auto? No, I like that feature. That was so good. Oh, now I'm sad. Ugh, don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys. Well, at least she has her priorities straight. They used to have it. Look, young master. Oh, such done. exquisite pieces of armor. They used to have it where you could just press A and it would auto advance all the dialogue and everything. And that was nice. It was great. You could just sit back and it was almost like a story. You don't have to actually click every time. I hope they bring that back. I hope that's a feature that they re-add into it. Or maybe it's an option. Let's check. Let's check under settings. Um, no, there isn't really an option. Well, that's unfortunate. Man, I was really... I like that. I really like that a lot, and then, and if I didn't want it, I could just take it off and keep. Oh, it was so good! It was so good. It's fine. <laughs> yep, this place does not look very good. No, wait, rat poop. Ew. I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on. Uh oh. What's this, big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. He just drank some tea. Tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, it's still tea, right? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> you do realize that you just poured stuff 
from an urn. As in, literal ashes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, no! What is the meaning of this intrusion? Who dares? Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. You, the one with the dire need of a haircut. <laughs> What have you done to my remains? I actually think his hair is probably the most cut out of all four of them. Just saying. Well, apparently I have drank them. This is an outrage! My rest interrupted! My remains defiled! Prepare for severe punishment! Yes! <laughs> Just, Just kidding. kidding. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? I... what? Uh, Don't go what on me, son. You're the one who drank my ashes, so you know. Some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction? I... Uh, a thing? Do you often wander into other fellas' households, slurping their <laughs> tatters? Mm? Uh, it still cracks me up. I this still like it. This is Kay of House Lauren. Heir apparent to this revered establishment. Revered? Ghost or no, respect is in order. Respect is in order. Uh, but... Oh, ho, 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 ho. so you're a Lauren, Sonny. Funny story. That would make me your grandfather. Desideratus of House Lauren. Desideratus? Great name. Though I imagine being dead limits my options. True. Is this real life? Hey, that's my line. Stop stealing my lines. Heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller. And bulkier. And, you know, smarter. Mm. And ashy stuff? Big no-no. Rocky start, my boy. <laughs> Look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track, hmm? Fetch me the customer. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, so <gasps> we lost. He said a swear. And this. This. Oh. Oh. Just what the hell happened here? This place is a dump. At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? This ain't right. <laughs> this ain't right at all. But you're the heir. You'll be putting all of this back together? Well, indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will... He doesn't get to talk much, does he? Bring, uh, uh, hmm. Look, I'm sorry about the ashes. And I appreciate the offer. I really do. But we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts and ruins. Nobody expected this. This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry. This just won't work out. But that must... Wait, where are you going? Kay. 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 Wait, you lot! I ain't done with you! Hmm. Ah, kids these days! Get off my lawn! It's fine. So yeah, apparently Kay's not up for the whole restoring his family's uh, property and all that stuff. By the way, I forgot I need to start reading these things. I, I don't have to. I mean, if you guys are paying attention where we go through all the scenario and everything, and let it play out and all that stuff, we don't skip things. It basically, this is a summary or a rundown of what is going on between the cutscenes and whatnot. So, a particularly dumb decision summons the ghost of Kay's grandfather, who then urges Kay to rebuild the kingdom. Overwhelmed by this sudden responsibility, Kay refuses, leaving the castle to collect his thoughts. And here we are. Oh, hey guys. I want the auto scroll. What Sorry. was that all about? I needed to collect my thoughts. Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city. Then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. Yeah, that's that's some pretty good nutshelling there, friend. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. But... We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? 
This place is ancient history, nothing more. Did someone say House Lauren? Did someone say Cheese Sandwich? No? Okay. Just figured I'd throw that out there. Alright. These guys look like well fun. Met. With whom do I have the pleasure? Sub bald man. How rude to demand the name of another before introducing oneself. Very well. The lady has a point. Walter Crucy, I represent the Furtive Union. Mr. Crucy? Hello. The Furtive Union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then. Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. Okay. So you're debt collectors? Basically. Correct. More or less. But that still leaves us in the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this God's forsaken place. You are not supposed to be here. Well, I do not like your tone. Whoa. This is Kay, heir to House Lauren, inheritor of Ascalia, the rightful master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. Mm hmm Is that true? You are the heir, young man. By the gods, Griffith. You would doubt our word? Interesting. That is an excellent turn of events. We shall kill two birds with one stone. Well, that doesn't sound good. Oh? Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been... confiscated. Awkward. What? What? How the hell? If you truly are K of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Monetary obligations. Obligations? Big debt. In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. Not Show great. Me. What? <laughs> How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. That's that's not good. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown, your grandsires appear to have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? But, but I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history here. I can't believe it. All of this, the whole city, lost because of a debt? Why, no. It got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt, you see, is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Business first. Let me introduce you to my assistants. Oh, snippity snap. But don't worry, we got Griffith. Mr. Knight, what are you doing? You will not harm them. Please. We are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little benefit. At least for now. Uh. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. Deals are good a or bad deal? sometimes. You are a king right now, young man. Of sorts. Your title still has hold in rash till. People respect it, and respect is money. Fair I enough. I propose you seize what chance you have. Rebuild this city of yours. Revitalize it. Is this a trick? No. <laughs> Why would it be? Consider it an investment of trust on our part. Cool. And if I refuse? You seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if, not a but, not a maybe. Do it, or payment shall be extracted through different means. Huh. Considerably less pleasurable, if I may add. All sounds bad. <laughs> Big bro. I am a reasonable man. We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? Maybe. You're asking us to do the impossible. No, we are asking you to do the improbable. But this is a chance now. One surely worth taking. 
I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford to waste it, my lord. And this is our cue to leave. The accord has been reached, nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell. Well, that's a stinky, stinky poop poop. That's what? not great. This is insane! Yep, insanity. The deadline is approaching. Tick tock, tick tock. The deadline is approaching. Tick tock, tick tock. Good boys. I like it. The guy's really good. Are you alright, big bro? Nope. Give me a minute. I love the little okay. facial expression Thoughts? bubbles. Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other options. True. Yeah. Did did they really sell Dad's estate? That's evil. Does it change anything? Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? Oh yeah, that's totally what he was planning. Well, technically, uh, you know what? Never mind. No, go on. How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it. But we must. Damn it. This is so depressing. Oh, yes, you want a nap Annoying, or something? Annoying, more like. Annoying, yeah, fair. That's the big deal. Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us, right? Oh, that's true. I have completely forgotten about him. That's weird, considering he is a ghost. It should be a little bit off-putting. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. No, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Oh? Ah, uh, oh well. To the castle, then. Off we go to beg and moan. Yay. Yay. Onward to the castle, ladies and gentlemen. Our distraught hero is visited by the ominous Mr. Crucy, who reveals that Kay's ancestors have accumulated a massive debt over the centuries. The debt collector poses an ultimatum. Restore the kingdom to pay off the debt or perish in ignominy. Ignominy? Sure. His hands seemingly tied, Kay decides to confer with his ghostly grandfather once more. That's pretty and much it. That's how it went. Hmm. Nasty buggers, them FUs. So it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Ah, oh. <laughs> funny how it works. Yes, is it? the irony is not lost on us. Just tell me what to do. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm, let me float here. Like an old man. Yes, I think I've come up with a solution. A king ain't a king with no people to lord over, yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any pair of hands would be a resource right now. True. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? That loan shark ain't exactly what I'd call the most trustworthy person around. What you got was scraps, and we need facts. Rich documents, the whole story, my boy. Call me a sentimental dead sod, but I can't imagine my kiddos ruining the kingdom over money. Crucy mentioned wars, crusades. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? Ah, uh, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours, that stern looking chap, you're all House Lauren. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Use them. And there's you. I have a forehead. Ah, oh, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? Don't harm me, boy. Like it or not, technically, I'm inside you now. Creepy. Ew. Uh -huh. This means our fates are tied for now. And believe me, you'll need me. Oh, yes. In other words, you'll be lugging me around wherever you go. Oh, gods. Oh, just kidding. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls. Likely for good. Bloody shame, that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you some other time. Cool. The gnomes. But the gnomes are still around. They are? Uh-oh. I knew it, them business-savvy midgets. They don't play you faster <laughs> than a gambler with a stack. Deck. Them business savvy midgets. That's great. Irritating and bipolar, I see. Gwen, 
Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. Which is? Surely you've heard. Pretty much everything they touch turns to gold. And you need gold, no? You're gonna need trade routes, and they're born tradesmen. Fair okay? enough. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. I see. Right. Time to get to work. Oh, one more thing. Yes. Before you do anything, Sonny, have you, uh, taken a good look around? Castle's a mess. Unless you want to be king for dust mites, I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. No way in hell I'm going to clean. Eh, you might. I, uh, I'm allergic to dust. Indeed. Gee, thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. With no alternatives inside, the family resolves to restore a Scalia, if only to get rid of Crucy. Following the grandfather's suggestion, Kay and Griffith descend to the castle's less than charming rooms to do some spring cleaning. What exactly will we be cleaning? Oh, you know, simple things: spider webs, rubble, dust mites. Oh no! Whoa! By the gods, this one's huge and ugly. Perhaps it is the broodmother of these things. I wonder if it flies. Are we really talking about this right now? Just hit it! Hit it! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be the perfect place, time, ending, opportunity. It's, it's where we're going to break off the episode. It's pretty much where we broke off the episode before, but that's it's fine. Ambush our heroes are attacked by the skittering denizens of the castle. Hallway beneath the castle, defeat all enemies. I'm just going to go into start battle. I'm not actually going to go through this. We will do this in the next episode. So this is pretty much right where we ended the first episode of the first look. Like I said, it's going to be very similar to the predecessor, but it's fine, guys and gals. It's a great game. Definitely one to be showcased again and again, or if we go with uh, the traditional, what people think Canadians sound like, again and again. And we're going to enjoy ourselves and do this wonderful, wonderful, sweet, sweet, nice game. As, well, as many times as we have to until we can finally get through the whole thing. So there you go. Alright folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer or the publisher or any of the wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video as it always is. And until the very next episode, don't forget to leave a like, guys and gals. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>